McQueen. Card a second. They'll, they'll go over there for a few <laughs> once they really get it rolling. All right. Yeah, they'll get it going. All right, let's get to football. This is a huge weekend. I want to ask you guys, maybe this isn't the right way of asking it, or those of you, the thousands in the chat. Um, if, does it really matter to you at the end of the day if the Bengals win this game? And I, well, the reason I hesitate is because if you're a fan of a team, of course it matters every game if you win it. But, I mean, really does it matter? Does it, or is there something that you want to see the last game of the year? I mean, if we're separating ourselves from being uh, fans and being more analysts of the game, I mean, the better thing to have happen is a better draft spot. Um, maybe if you're looking at job security, you want – Zach Taylor to win so he doesn't go 0 and 6 in the division. That would be uh, catastrophic, yep. especially on the resume there. Um, for me, I hope that they win just because I'm I'm a fan. I'm not a ba- bandwagon fan. I want them to win. I don't think there's a big difference between the 16th spot, the 18th spot, the 12th, 14th. You're gonna get the second or third best player in whatever position you pick at that point. So I'm all about them winning. And my hope is that we just see some of the guys that are on the depth chart that we don't really – we didn't see like Osai all season. I want a lot of snaps from Osai. I want a lot of snaps from Miles Murphy, Zach Carter, um, more snaps for Dax Hill, DJ Turner, Jordan Battle. Like get the young guys in there. Andre, downtown Charlie Brown. I want to see all those guys playing. Oh, boy. <laughs> Look, right, let me interrupt for a second, okay? Because as you started walking through that list. Yep. And I'm being very serious about this now. Yep. I'm going to ask you this question. Yep. We have had 17 weeks of football. Yes. What can you really – what, what can you really put into in terms of evaluation in one game this weekend? As it pertains to, let's just say, one name you ripped off, Joseph Asai. I mean, w- does it really matter to you if he plays five snaps or plays 50 snaps? Are you going to learn anything? Are we going to learn anything about Joseph Asai or downtown Charlie Brown Jones? <laughs> well, I do think, like, their performance. What are you laughing that at? That nickname is the best. <laughs> do you think they call him that down at Paycorn? I know they don't. You don't think they call him DT downtown? No. We almost had him on the show, Tom. <laughs> well, we almost did, and he blew us off. Uh-huh. I don't know. No, I mean, I mean it kept busy. changing when he's available, 8 o'clock at night or 4 in the afternoon or, you know, whenever. He was on, scared. On, he was running on to the, the sideline. On the first Tuesday those those of Purdue each guys. month and the last Thursday of every month. Tom, he was Purdue running guys. east to west really quickly. That's okay. right. We, we, we he was running away slack. from this show east to west. We should have right. been tipped right. off from the beginning. He gets to the sideline. He runs east to west so quickly he changes time zones back and forth. All right, so there's my question. What are you really going to learn – about Joseph Asai, if he plays every defensive snap in this game? Well, I mean, they're playing against the backup, so I expect him to play well against backup competition, right? Like, if he doesn't go out there and have a lot of pressures or if he just kind of stinks it up, then it's like, okay, well, maybe it's time to move on. I think some of the guys you cut a little more slack, but it just gives you more of a, a viewer evaluation, right? Because we don't get to see those guys in practice, so we have no idea what why they're not playing on the field as much, right? Right. We have no idea why Miles Murphy didn't get half the snaps this year. We have no idea why um, Zach Carter didn't get more snaps this year. So I want to see them out there just for my sake so then I can see for myself, like, hey, this is the backup competition, and, you know, they're okay. not doing anything. Okay. You see, I – I don't there, – there's nothing that I'm – you're right, Tom. There's nothing you're going to learn yeah. from this game based on how these guys play. I do want to see them get more reps because I want them to have more reps in the NFL. That's fair. That's why. Like, I, I don't need to see anything, but if these guys are a part of the future, I want them to get as many reps before playing big-time games again. And, and when I look at this game, it might sound vain. It might be a dumb reason. But for, for some reason, I just want to have the, the Bengals have a winning record. Yeah, I don't know what it is. Like, I just want when I look back at the 2023 season and I think about 
all of the aspirations. Can this team win a Super Bowl? What's going to happen? And I look at them and I say, this is, according to some statistics, the Bengals played one of the hardest schedules in NFL history. Yep. And they did so with a quarterback, with a healthy quarterback one-third of the time. Yep. And to say back, they still went 9-8. and eight. They still won at least one game in their division. Those are things that I want. They're vain. There's no reason. It doesn't help the team at all. But when I look back at this year, it does just give a little bit of light. And that's what I, that's what I like about this game. Is at the end of the day, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if they lose, really. Like, it feels like there's nothing, but there's, there's only to gain from this game. If they lose by 40, who cares? I don't care. I don't give a rat's behind if they lose by 40 in this game. But if they turn around and they win by 40, that'll feel great. That's a great way to, to go into the season. So I really do feel like there's only positives to gain from this game. And I, and I just want to, I want to see some, some rookies, some younger guys get reps. Not for, for my own sake to see what they have, but just so they get more live reps. Yeah, it, for, it, it, these games don't matter to me. I, I mean, this is essentially a, a, the Pop-Tart Bowl, uh, for all I care. It's a I, state championship. It's a state championship, uh, which we wouldn't have won anyway because they already beat us. So I don't know. It'd be a split. It'd be a split of the Ohio Cup. I, listen, when I, when, I, when I look at this game, I want Jake Browning to play well. I, I think he's earned a good game. I, I want him to end the season on a high note. This will most likely be the last game he starts in the NFL. So go out, go out with a bang, Jake Browning. You, you, you've, you've earned it. Uh, around, around the roster, again, you're not really going to see much because the Browns are playing nobody. So this is the Bengals are essentially playing a collegiate team here. You, you, you can't really see uh, what you have in this particular matchup. But use them. Uh, Drew said it in the chat. Use him like you would. Like you, you, if, Yoshi, if you want Yoshi to see if he can be a number two, use him like you'd use T. Higgins. I don't think Yoshi would ever replace T. Higgins in any world no, ever. No. But if you use him like him, maybe he will. Maybe let's see. Let's see Chase Brown take the reins from Joe Mixon. Chase Brown, I want him running 20 times in the game. Spread, spread the rock around. See what we have out there. Uh, and, and let's have some fun. This is a fun game. Brad Robbins. Let Brad Robbins air out a couple kicks. See if you can get a Let hold him of air him. out. Have they been holding him back? <laughs> they, they, they've, they've been telling him, tone it down a little bit. I think they have. We don't, want you, we don't want the rest of the league to know what we have in you, Brad. <laughs> we only want you kicking 33 yards in the air. That's what we want from, from you, Brad Robbins. But, no, this game doesn't mean anything, unfortunately. It's, uh, it's a lost season. But as we were talking about yesterday, and Reed had a tweet that went viral. Shout out, Reed. Um, it's the, one of the hardest schedules yep. in franchise history. In, well, in it's one of the hardest in NFL history. Right, in NFL history. Yeah. So when you look back and you say, all right, well, we lost half our roster almost at one point or throughout the course of the season, you can't, you can't really be upset with a winning season this year. I know 0-6 in the division sucks. Terrible. One, it would be 1-5 uh, if, if you're able to beat the, the college Cleveland Browns. But, I, I, again, this, it, it, these, th- these seasons happen in the, in the NFL. They never happen to the Patriots because they played in the world's worst division. Right, the Bengals play in the toughest division in the sport. Yep, these things are going to happen. I, I, I don't take, I, I don't take it for a grain of salt. I, I the Bengals are going to be fine. They're going to bounce back next year, and, and we'll be okay. But win the game, win the game for fun. This 